Greetings everyone. So today I want to talk about two things you want to do to your Windows computer to make it speed up the internet, especially if you're having little issues like connection issues or even slow internet. Even though your internet speed is running fine when you do a speed test, you might have some issues, but the issue is not with your router or anything. It might be with the computer. So let's cover two things you want to try before you call the cable company. Okay, so first you want to do is go to the computer and type in CMD. Once you type in CMD, it's going to come up to the command prompt. That's what you're going to use to type in two commands that's going to help speed up your internet. So at this point, you want to hit enter. Then you're going to see a black box popped up with a white border. And this is what you're going to use to help speed up your internet. So the first thing you want to type is IP config slash flush DNS, just like how you see me have it typed up here and there's the words on the screen so you can use it if it's a little bit too small for you to see it on my actual computer screen here. Press enter. Once you press enter, you should see it says successfully flush the DNS receiver cache. Now what that does is clear out any kind of internet bottleneck that you had before because some things are stored on the computer to make it easier for you to access certain website and make it easy for you to you know surf the network a little bit faster which is the internet network especially if you don't turn on your computer on a regular basis things start to bottleneck inside the computer and that's why i want you to flush the dns before you do anything else even if you turn your computer off just go ahead and do it anyway the next thing you want to do is type in ipconfig slash renew then what's that going to do is actually refresh your IP address because the IP address you're using might be clashing with another IP address inside your home because each one of your devices wired or wireless is using an IP address to connect to the internet to your router. That's how the router is able to keep up with each devices in your home. That includes your TV, your voice assistant and everything else that you have is assigned an IP address. And it doesn't matter if it's wired or wireless. That's how the router know which device is connected to the router. So you want to click enter on that one also. And then once you hit enter, it's going to reassign your laptop with a new IP address. Now renewing the IP address might help solve the issue because sometimes your IP address might be conflicting with another IP address on your home network. And that does happen every now and then. And that should help ease some of the bottleneck you're having with your computer. You might think that you have an internet issue, but the problem might be in your computer itself. So try these two commands before you do anything else. Because every once in a while I have these issues with my computer, just acting like the internet is slow, but everything else on the network is running fine. So I know it's not the network, my router, or the internet service, it's actually the computer. Using these two commands will nine times out of 10 clear up any issue you're having, and then your computer is going to be running smooth again on the internet like it was before. All right, so I hope this tip is helpful. If it was, go on and leave me a thumbs up. If you have any questions, leave it in the comment section. Have a good one until I see you next time.